this is the math guy, see. Let's try solving this equation. All right, so how we solve this one is first by isolating the radical, okay? So we have to add three to both sides, all right? So that would give us the square root of x plus 59 equals x plus three, okay? Now we can square both sides, squaring both sides, but that gets rid of the radical on the left-hand side, so we get x plus 59. And then squaring this right-hand side, we have to FOIA this out, okay? Multiply this out, so we get x squared plus six x plus nine. Now it's a quadratic equation. And how we solve quadratic equations, get zero on one side, factor the other side, set each factor equal to zero. So here uh, we get zero equals x squared. Subtracting x, we get 5x. And then subtracting 59, we get negative 50. So since the right-hand side is three terms and there's a one in front, we go straight to double bubble, okay, x and x. Now we need numbers that multiply to be negative 50, combined to give me this positive five. So in this case, it would be plus 10 and minus five. Okay, so we got zero on one side, factor the other side, set each factor equal to zero. So x plus 10 equals zero and x minus five equals zero. Solving each of these separately, we get x equals negative 10. And here, x equals positive five. So those will be our two solutions. However, this is a radical equation, so we must check, okay, because we get extraneous solutions sometimes. All right, let's check. All right, so to check it, we plug it back into the original equation and see if we get a true statement, okay? So plug in a negative 10, we get negative 3 plus the square root of negative 10 plus 59. Is that equal to negative 10? Is this true? Well, the square root of 49 is 7, so negative 3 plus 7. Is that equal to negative 10? No, it's not, because negative 3 plus 7 is 4, which is not equal to negative 10. So negative 10 is not a solution. Okay. All right, so plug it in 5, we get negative 3 plus the square root of 5 plus 59. Is that equal to x? 5. Okay. Well, square root of 64 is 8, so negative 3 plus 8, is that equal to 5? It sure is, because 5 equals 5. All my life, that's been true. Mm -hmm. So 5 is a solution to this equation, okay? Always remember, math is everywhere.